He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Well, hello everyone and welcome. My name is Don Bain and of course I am the Gadget Professor coming to you live and in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. Welcome everyone. We are on show number 292. It is blazing hot. I mean it is like 93 degrees here already. Sorry for you guys back east but uh, it's getting hot here in Arizona. There is no question about it. In any event, welcome to the Gadget Professor show. We come up with a brand new show every Thursday evening. It's some kind of gadget that will enhance your life or things that you're doing. And we also have a bunch of free software, free apps that I'm sure everybody likes because uh, I am now heard in 172 countries around the world, which is uh, amazing to me. And also, you can email me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, and I do answer all my email. And speaking of email, uh, I got an email from a gentleman uh, early this week uh, complaining about the lighting here at the uh, studio here. And uh, you know what? He is 150% absolutely right. So uh, I've been fooling around with the studio over the last couple months, and I've been meaning to put in the new lights. And uh, your email, sir, was the precipitous for me to get the new lighting, and I got a beautiful new uh, LED light right above me. So uh, uh, you should see a tremendous improvement in the lighting, and thank you so much for that email. And I also thank you for tuning in to The Gadget Professor. We have an interesting gadget for you today. Let's take a look at it. But actually, let me, let me introduce this. Before we get started, uh, I want to point out that some of the gadgets I review uh, are sent to me, some are not, and I'll always try to tell you which ones are sent to me. This particular device was not sent to me. I actually own this and have used this device for a while. Were you ever in a situation where you want to get good audio? Uh, you may have a, a really nice DSLR camera. Uh, you may have a camcorder. Uh, you may have an iPad, an iPod, a Droid, a, a Samsung tablet, whatever. And uh, the microphones that are inside these devices just don't cut it. So at the end of the day, you want to get good audio. You want to use a microphone, a professional microphone, like a cardioid microphone, or uh, even a lapel microphone. Uh, I have a lapel microphone right here. This is called a lapel microphone, and it just literally it clips on uh, on your lapel like, like so, and uh, then you plug it in. But these have what's called XLR uh, jacks on the back of them, and those are typically what professionals would use, professional musicians, singers, or even if you're uh, uh, at a speech, uh, they're going to use professional microphones. So uh, I'm going to show you a device that will allow you to use professional uh, XLR jack microphones with pretty much any device that you're on. So let's take a look at camera two, and uh, this is actually the device. It's called the Sermonic uh, Mixer. It's called the Smart Rig Plus, and this is really quite a device, and uh, it might look complicated, but quite frankly, it's pretty simple, and this thing really works. Uh, the first thing that I'll call your attention to is there's two XLR jacks, one here and one here, and that would be mic one, mic two, you don't have to use both, but this will allow you to easily take your XLR plug and plug it in there and use one of those jacks. The other thing that's obviously that would make sense is that you have volume controls for your microphone one and microphone two and these work very well so again you can plug one mic or two mic in there two mics in there also you have a 3.5 millimeter jack so if you were to have one of those small uh, microphones that uh, you can buy on the cheap uh, you also can use these two 3.5 millimeter jacks they work too also on the top you'll see a switch here and this is for stereo or monaural and basically what that will do is if you're in a situation where you want the sound to come out of the left track and right track, then you would put it in the stereo mode. If you want the same sound to come out of both sides, left and right, you would put that in the monorail track. So let's let's take a look again. So here we are. And also, 
this takes a quarter inch jack right there you can actually plug a guitar or an instrument in there so you can have a guitar and a mic or two guitars you get it whatever you want and on the front it's nicely decorated and tells you what's going on there you see the microphones on top the little microphone symbols and that's exactly what they are uh, right here you'll see that this is labeled channel one and channel two again volume one volume two so the layout is really simple this is the part that I actually like if you want to use it for your DSL camera you're going to click this switch to the camera side if you want to use it with your smartphone and I don't care whether it's a droid or an iOS an iPhone you're gonna push this switch to the uh, right side so that's pretty simple there and this switch here is for what's called phantom power and you'll see there's three configurations there's on off and plus 48 volts so right now the device is off if I want to turn the device on I simply go like that and uh, I don't think you can see it but uh, there's a light that's actually lit and this device is on and uh, if I oh, let's, let's see there you go uh, so you can see the device is on you can actually see that green light and uh, off and then if I want the phantom power on I think you can see the red light and the green light and that means that it's supplying 45 volts to the microphone I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute so right now uh, I am going to also show you the output jack and this is built right into the device there's no way that this is going to come off or get lost and this is the jack right here that's going to plug into your smartphone whether it's uh, an iPhone or a droid or a tablet or whatever this is the piece that's going to go into your camera uh, this is how the metal connects to the pedal right here this is where the output goes and then additionally which is a really nice feature here's your headphone jack so I will hook this whole thing up and uh, show you essentially how it works so uh, let's take a look at that okay so here I have the microphone and there's just a cord on it with the XLR jack coming off it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into channel 1 and let's take a look so there's channel 1 and there's the jack that goes to the microphone that's channel 1 and you've already you've already seen me put the lapel on this is the jack that goes to the lapel I'll put this in channel 2 let's take a look at that so there you can see channel 1 channel 2 and right here we have the volume controls one and two and I can make that louder or lower the device is already on you can see the lights there and uh, I actually have the phantom power on so that's pretty simple so now the way this works is I have one two two microphones and now I'm just gonna plug this last jack into the iPhone so let's take a look at what that looks like okay so I have my headset on and uh, let's take a look at this puppy all wired up we'll now take a look at this uh, uh, ceremonic smart rig all connected up let's go to camera two so here we are you can see mic one mic two there's your volume controls the device is on you can see the lights and uh, now the output jack right here is actually going as you will see directly into the iPad and I am using uh, iRig IK Multimedia to record my sound on the iPad you can use whatever you want and the only thing that I've actually added folks is right here this jack actually goes to my headset here so the device is all hooked up and now I'm just gonna hit record on my device and both microphones both my lapel and uh, my microphone here are now going to record onto the iPad so let's take a look at that okay so I'm all wired up I'm ready to see this device work I have my microphone right here let's take a look at the iPad and we'll watch it record okay so here we are the microphones as you can see are wired in I'm actually holding the handheld microphone plus I have a lapel so I have two microphones going into this ceremonic device and let's take a look and we'll record now so I am going to hit record and there we go I'm uh, actually testing out the Sermonic smart rig hello 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 and now we're going to play this back and hear what it sounds like I'll stop it and uh, let's take a listen okay so I've just recorded and now we're going to play it back let's see what that sounds like I am going to hit record and there we go I'm uh, actually testing out the Sermonic smart rig hello 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 and now we're going to play this back and hear what it sounds like okay so there you go you can see that uh, this device uh, worked flawlessly uh, the sound controls are excellent and uh, pretty much everything about this device works as stated uh, real solid piece of equipment the recording that I just did on that uh, iPad is uh, the equivalent uh, as good as what I'm recording right now on my digital studio so uh, 
here's a perfect way for you to bring in sound or instruments to any device. So if uh, you're having a conference, if you're having a, a meeting, uh, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, or an Indian chief, and uh, you want to get good quality sound, uh, this device is the perfect device to use to incorporate high quality sound. Even if you're doing family videos, uh, you want to hear the story of grandma and grandpa, uh, instead of using that tinny, junky mic that's in your uh, smartphone uh, or attached to your DSLR camera, even if it has one, uh, this is the way to go. And, uh, you know, microphones run about a hundred bucks to a couple hundred thousand, depending upon what you want to buy. But uh, this device does work well. Let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, page uh, that it's on, the web page. And again, it's the uh, Sermonic USA. This is the Sermonic uh, Smart Rig. And uh, I guess you can see me better now with my new lighting, huh? So this is 99 bucks, and it's a steal. It's two-channel. You get all those inputs, all those controls, and uh, it's really quite a quite an amazing device. Uh, I actually bought mine uh, uh, on Amazon, 99.95, and if you're a Prime Prime user, then uh, the shipping is free. So uh, you're not going to go wrong with that device, and it's just a perfect way to enhance and improve the sound quality sig significantly. It's not like a little improvement; it's it's an enormous improvement. So uh, I. I hope, you, uh, I hope you'll consider that if you want to get some good audio. All right, let's take a look at some apps. But before we do that, uh, I want to tell everybody that uh, NAB is coming up uh, in April, the end of April, April 22nd uh, to April 27th, I believe it is. And uh, that will be in Vegas again this year, as it is every year. And this actually will be the sixth or the sixth or seventh consecutive year that I've been invited to go back to NAB to do my show. And that's uh, essentially uh, 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, I do a, a New, a new interview with some new technology. NAB stands for the National Association of Broadcasters, and that's where everybody around the world gets together for about a week and has seminars, training. Uh, anybody who's anybody in the video space will be there or in the broadcast space, and uh, it's a great way to see what where the technology is going and what's new. So let us move on. Uh, right now we have some apps, and I know you're waiting for those. The first app that we have is Master Seeker. Master Seeker. That's right, Master Seeker. If you are looking to find some files real quick on your Windows device and uh, it takes time, you want to get Master Seeker. It's totally free. This is version 1.5.1. And uh, this will uh, search out pretty much anything you want uh, on steroids. The thing that's nice about it is it takes a uh, wild card. So you can put star dot, uh, if you think the file started with the JA, just star dot JA dot star. And bam, I mean, instantly it will pull up every single file on every single drive that you have uh, in rapid speed. So this is really a great free piece of a software and if you do if you have a lot of files like I do and you're trying to find them and can't do it uh, you definitely want to check this software out it's it's really really good uh, the next piece that we're going to talk about is restore point central unfortunately I got a, a, a an email uh, I think a day or two ago from a young lady who uh, uh, just updated I guess a week or two ago her Windows 10 operating system and uh, when she did that anniversary update it kind of pulled out the restore feature point and of course you got a virus and try to restore and uh -uh, couldn't find any way to restore. So to avoid that, what you may want to do is uh, put respect Restore Point Central, and I may have covered this in, I don't know, four or five episodes ago, but uh, again, it's called Restore Point Central, and what this is, uh, it will actually replace and do a better job of putting software on your system that you can create a restore point for. So what happens if I restore it, if I make a restore point for today's date, today's time, and three months from now, uh, something happens to my system, I just go back to uh, Restore Point Creator. And uh, it will say you created a restore point on such and such a date. You would click the most recent date because that's typically what you'd want, and you'd restore it. If that doesn't work, you go to the one prior to that. So this restore point uh, software is very important, particularly if you're on the Windows operating system. It will really, really help you in a pinch. And there's no other way to do that unless you're doing backup like I do, which is continually around the clock. So I don't want this machine to croak on me. But if it does, uh, I can go back to my backup software and just hit restore, and I'm, I'm I'm all set to go, so uh, you, you you definitely want to do that. And we talked a lot about that. So uh, our next software is called Bug Me Not, and Bug Me Not is kind of a neat website. 
Uh, if you've ever gone on to, uh, uh, been browsing the web and gone on to a site where it wants a username and password and you really didn't want to log on and share all your all your stuff, like your user, like uh, create a new account, a new email address, yada, 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 uh, bug me not is what you might want to check in. What this does is it shares logins to a lot of different sites. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, instead of logging in, they'll tell you what the uh, username and passwords are for those particular sites that you want to get on. And uh, typically they work. Sometimes they don't, but it's free and it's worth a shot. So you might want to check out Bug Me Not. And there's a little uh, place there where you put the URL. So if you were to log into, uh, oh, I don't know, cnetdownloads.com and you needed to create a username and password, uh, if this one already had it for you, it would share it with you. So uh, you may want to check that out. Here's another uh, neat uh, neat website now now personally i'm 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 not one into trivia uh i don't know i know some things because i'm old but uh, uh i'm not a trivia bug or buff if you will uh or one of these interesting facts that you really don't care about but this site does exactly that uh this site is called sporkle and uh this is full of all kinds of quizzes activities uh trivia stuff that you really don't want to know and it has some really interesting things here so i think what this site is for, if you want to impress your friends with useless knowledge, this would be a good place to go. Also, if you're bored, this would be an excellent place to go because just skimming the headlines is interesting. And last but not least, if you want to increase your kids' knowledge base about all kinds of stuff, this is actually a pretty good site to do that. They have activities to do. They have quizzes. Uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. So uh, check that out. You you may or, or, or may not like that. But uh, in any event, it's called Sporacle. And uh, I, know, I know that you're going to check it out. Now, this last site that I'm going to bring up, I, I get emails from time to time about this, and people want an email address that's private so that they don't want to give out their email address if it was, uh, you know, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. Uh, they may not want to give that address out uh, or their own personal address or any email address. So this is called Mail Eliminator, and it's kind of neat. What this does is it gives you a real, reusable, uh, artificial mail address and uh, again it's called mail eliminator and it's kind of interesting mail eliminator is a public system uh email uh device if you will email applet and uh it's free to use you can upgrade and get a, a more sophisticated plan but uh, if you get the free one uh, you can access any public inbox and get your email you have hundreds of alternative domains, so you can make your own name up, and this will actually let you do that. Uh, there's no sign-up, there's no passwords, and it's for free, it's pretty good. If you're really into it, you can spend 30 bucks a month, get 10 megabytes of storage, so on and so forth. So if you need uh, an email uh, address that's functional and works, this is the device for you. This is the system for you. There's a 44-second uh, video here, but... Uh, um, May Eliminator up, gives you upgrade plans, of course, uh, far higher rate limits, persistent storage, API access, which means you can access it from anywhere, and uh, you can even use a private domain if you have, and it's totally free. So you definitely want to check that out, and there are a lot of reasons, which I won't get into, why people uh, want to use uh, fictitious email addresses. I just bring you the information. You can use it or not use it. In any event, uh, that is going to uh, wrap it up today for the Gadget Professor. I got a little bit more work to do uh, on the studio here. Uh, the light didn't fall on me, so that, that's a good thing. And uh, maybe next week I'll give you like a 10-second a tour of uh, what this place looks like. There's a lot of gadgets here for sure and uh, a lot of interesting gear, no question about that. And maybe, just maybe, uh, I will show you what underneath my desk looks like. If you want to see uh, cables and wires and networks and complication, uh, this is it. Not saying it's good, but uh, might be interesting for you to take a peek at uh, the underneath of the desk of the Gadget Professor. <laughs> In any event, I will see everybody next Thursday night. So long from the Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor.